Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And I have a quick video tutorial for you today. Uh, I'm going to be going over the new update to the responsive lightbox gallery um, that which has gotten gotten a lot of great feedback. And I just have a few updates that I'd like to go over with you in this video tutorial. Um, I recently came out with the update. It's now a responsive lightbox gallery widget 1.1. 1 .1. Um, and I'll get started and I'll show you a few of the updates um, in the 1.1 1 .1 version. Um, so I'll go to my library panel. I'll just yeah, get started here. Um, if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. Um, and here I'll type in RLG. RLG is short for responsive lightbox gallery uh, widget. Um, and then here I'll click on the RLG add first and I'll click hold and drag and place to the top of my Adobe Muse web website. Okay, and then I'll bring in the images. So I'll click hold and drag and place right in here. So it's all the same. Um, this part, you know, adding the widget is all the same. Um, there's, ju there's just a few new options. Uh, so the first new option, if we go to thumbnails, is this thumbnails max width option. This lets you set the width of the, of the thumbnails within the gallery. So for instance, if I set it to 12 images and I set the, the thumbnails to 100% width by going to resize and stretch to browser width, we have the thumbnails there. And then I'll center the thumbnails by going to text and align center within the text. Okay, so now if I go to file, preview page, and browser, uh, we can see that the thumbnails go across the entire browser and it's 100% width. And it is responsive, so when I resize the browser, the thumbnails get resized as well or change position within the browser. Okay, so the new uh, thumbnails max width option allows you to set the width for the thumbnails within the browser. So let's say I want to set it to uh, the, for the thumbnails, I'll set it to 50% width. And let's take off some of this uh, widget space down here within the container. Um, there we go. So then I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And now the thumbnails are 50% width within the browser. So you can picture like 25% here and 25% here. And the thumbnails are still responsive. Um, this allows you to set the width of the gallery within the browser. So it's no longer has to be 100% width. And by setting the width, it can still be uh, responsive and you can just resize the browser and it's, it's just at a smaller width there. Uh, so that was the first update and I'll go ahead and add some images um, just to make this a bit more interesting as I'm working with it. So I'll go to the image and I'll just add some images here. And image three and we'll add four images uh, here, add file, and there we go. And I'll set it back to four images. Okay, so I'll set it back to four images here, just like that, and I'll resize the widget container here. Okay, so the next update is that you can now have multiple lightbox galleries, and each gallery can have, um, it can have their own custom thumbnails. So for instance, I'll copy this gallery. So I'll hit Command C and then Command V to paste. And all we need to do for any additional galleries is go into the widget options and change the instance number for the gallery. Okay, so now we have a completely new gallery here. And I'll go into thumbnails and for the thumbnail width, I'll say 300 by 300. And we'll make the max width uh, 100%. And we'll change the color to red for the thumbnail border. And I'll add different images here. So I'll just randomly select a few images here. OK. So there we have different images and different thumbnails for each of the galleries. So if I go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, we have this thumb, uh, lightbox gallery here, and then we have this one here. So I'll click on this one, and we can see it has four images here, the images in that gallery, which looks really great. And let me add the fonts as well, just so as I'm working with this, you can see that it has the fonts. Um, to add the fonts to the lightbox gallery, you just go into Adobe Muse, you go to File, Add Files for Upload, and then in the zip file that comes with the widget, when you unzip it, there's a fonts folder, so you double click the fonts folder, and then you select all these four fonts in here and click open. Uh, so now I'll go back to file, preview page, and browser. I'll click on the first gallery here, and we have the icons here, which looks really good. Uh, so this is the first gallery, and the second gallery is here. We can see the thumbnails are larger, and they're both fully responsive. Uh, we can see this one goes under, and that's just because of the positioning that I have 
for the widgets. But here we have this, this other gallery, so I'll click here, and we can see that it's a, a completely new gallery here um, as well. So we have two galleries on the page. Um, and this works really well because you can now have different galleries on multiple breakpoints. So I'll add a breakpoint at, uh, let's say, 768. And for the 960 breakpoint, I'll, hi I'll hide uh, this, this uh, gallery here. So I'll right click and I'll say hide in breakpoint. And then on the 768, I'll hide this gallery. So I'll right click and hide in breakpoint. So now we have two different galleries on those breakpoints. So I'll go to file, preview page and browser. And we have this first gallery here, looks good, perfect. And then if I resize the browser, we now have this gallery here, which is perfect. So you can have different galleries on multiple breakpoints, which is really great. So as you're designing on different breakpoints, you can see how your gallery will look or if you want a, a new gallery on that breakpoint. Okay, so that was the second update. I think it might be the third, or the fact that you can put uh, multiple galleries on one page and you can put uh, different galleries on different breakpoints. Okay, and the last update um, is to the add-on widget. So let me go to the 960 breakpoint here. Um, if I go to the library panel and I type in RLG, we have the add-on which allows you to add on more images or YouTube and Vimeo videos. Uh, for this one, I'm going to add on images. And in the previous version, when you had uh, two add-on widgets and you had, let's say you had 12 in each, the second add-on wouldn't add 12. So that's been fixed. So for example, if I go into the select number of images and I select 12 uh, for this first one, and we can see we have this add-on instance which plays a part in, in um, adding multiple add-on widgets. So for the first instance, because if this is the first instance of the add-on, we can leave it at one. Um, and then it has to be below the Lightbox gallery. So now I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And we can see we have four plus 12 uh, more images. Um, and because it has the instance number one, it's relating to this widget here and not to the 768 breakpoint here. Um, so you want to, for the add-on, you want to make sure that the instance number relates to the instance number of the gallery you want to add the, the additional images to. Okay, so we've added the first add-on instance, so I'll hit Command-C to copy and then Command-V to paste. And then for, I'll bring it below the sec the first add-on, and then I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, and we can see it didn't add any images. It should add another 12, um, but that's where the add-on instance com comes in. Um, so here we have the, the add-on instance. So instead of one, because it's the second instance of the add-on, we'll say two, and we're gonna add another 12 images. So let me give a little more scroll space here. And if I go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, we can see we have another 12 images. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 28 images. Um, we have four with the additional gallery. And then we have two add-on with 12, uh, which makes uh, 28. So 12 and 12 is 24. And then the four from the from the gallery, which is 28. Okay, so those are the that was uh, fixed in, in the new uh, update. Okay, so I think that's it, and you can do that with the YouTube and Vimeo videos as well, and the YouTube and v Vimeo videos with poster image. Um, so those are the updates. You can set the width, um, you can set the max width of the thumbnail gallery within the website. Um, you can add uh, multiple galleries and have different thumbnails and different images in each gallery. Um, you can have different galleries on the different breakpoints and the add-on uh, has been fixed so you can add as many additional images, YouTube videos or, or Vimeo videos um, and you can do that with poster image or without and yeah that's in the add-on there. Okay so I think that's it for this video tutorial. Um, to get access to this widget um, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the widget individually, you can click here on the Lightbox Gallery. And here you can click Add to Cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. So again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, the Lightbox Gallery has gotten great feedback and I'm really happy uh, to be um, to be showing these updates and adding these updates to the Lightbox Gallery. Um, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.